<laughs> All right, are we ready?
we'll get freaking Cameron, bro. Like, he, like I told him, there has not been a single sportsman guy that's come in here with a pro charger that hasn't ended up with a bigger gear set in. Not one. Well, why would not you? Do that? I understood. You just like, tell dude, me why he's not. Just as bad. Oh my god. <laughs> why you guys don't run a four cylinder then? If you don't want to. <laughs> it's a V8, not a four cylinder. We speed this thing up and rev it up, but for I'm drag racing. <laughs> clearly out, I'm clearly outnumbered in this place. He's in this drag racing. I'm just asking guys. Drag no, racing, right? Look at it this way. He paid for the whole blower. This, this guy gets all happy because his brake pressure went up. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are we opportunity. at? This is no road racing, bro. Brake pressure? Yep, I need it. They, they thought what? 1500 was enough. False. Oh, man. False. Oh. Need more. Okay, gear drive, we doing? It's dead. That's got, that is the new one. Oh. They don't have... They need There's more. another one? We can do it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Another one? They made 1980. That's pretty good in a rail car. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. How fast guys want to go? Uh, we try to target around 620 in the quarter, so it'll it'll yeah, make you'll it. Be yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Anywhere. Let's get the plugs for some wheelies this time. Yes, yeah. We're going to try. We're going to pull it out. What's up guys, Cameron here with Fuel Tech USA and I have Prescott Dean here with his, uh, what is this, a Mollus Dragster? Yeah, Mollus chassis. Um, how long is it? It's a 245 inch chassis. So 245 inch Mollus Dragster, big block Chevy, Pro Charger, 2005 horsepower, rocket ship. So why don't you tell me how, uh, how your day went on the dyno today? Uh, it was a good day. Um, we started, we've been running the Fuel Tech system for a year now. Um, we love it. Um, but we wanted to come down here to get expertise from you guys and from the whole fuel tech team to make our program faster uh, More reliable and you know more consistent. So um, We started, you know completely from scratch today, and I feel like that's uh, <laughs> I think it's gonna help us in the long run for sure So okay, so what uh, what type of racing do you usually do? Uh, we, we will do the NHRA circuit the top dragster circuit. So a uh, quarter mile um, bracket style racing mostly. Um, we'll hit up some eighth mile bracket race, big money stuff eventually, um, but we're more focused on the uh, NHRA side right now. Okay, so for, for some of our viewers that may not follow that kind of stuff, what are some of the specifics to like TD racing and that kind of thing? It's, it's kind of like an index type yeah, class, right? So, yeah, so it's an index, so it, we can't dial quicker than 610 to the quarter mile, so you'll have uh, everyone running either 610, um, 32, uh, 32 car qualified field, so you'll have people running like 610 all the way up to like 750, so you'll have blowers, turbos, nitrous, in a, you know, Sunny's motors, you know, all, all types of... Yeah, big inch like NA stuff. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. So you'll have all sorts of power combinations. Okay, well, we, uh, we went over a lot of stuff today, right? Mm -hmm. I, we, I have a bad uh, habit of making everybody that shows up with a Pro Charger uh, put more <laughs> overdrive, right? Right. That's my thing. So, right. So we, uh, we made a couple runs. We put more overdrive in the blower because of me. I'm yes. a bad influence. And then uh, we continued on throughout the rest of our day. Um, you tuned this car originally by yourself, right? Correct. And yep. what was your, your um, I guess, average ET or personal best or whichever one you'd want to... Yeah, so, so we, we were running in averages, you know, mid-630s. Um, our best was like 625 or so um, okay. and really good air. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're, we're anywhere from that 630 to 620 range. Okay, so. and um, I could tell before from the tune-up that it wasn't really turned up a lot because that's that's not really what you need right, right. you guys need to be able to go out there and uh dial in at a number and then kind of just keep nailing that number the whole time that you're at that event right so 
what we did was we kind of just stepped that up to the to the higher power level, right? Mm -hmm. And then we did all the things to try and make sure that this thing is going to be consistent. Shift points, um, looking at the converter data, all that kind of stuff, just to be able to kind of fine tune the little small detail stuff that really matters on something like this. Uh, so your your father races as well, right? Right. Yep. Does do you guys share a car, or you have multiple cars? Or? We have multiple cars. Um, we've we've shared this one. Uh, we both ran this car. Um, I've pretty much ran it for the last three years. Um, we've been racing together for the last six years. Um, we share cars, and then we also drive our own separate cars. Um, he's getting in a new chassis uh, this year to. Run. And it's it's a similar combination. So, yeah, sim pretty much the exact same combination, except the uh, the chassis is just a little bit longer. So. Okay. So. Um, I'm not a dragster guy. What is the advantages of having a longer uh, chassis in the type of racing that you do? Really, any more with the advances in like the shock technology. You know, there was a point in time where dragsters were short, and then they got really, really long. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're starting to actually get them shorter again because you can all the shock technology that, that's out there, the shock sensors that we have on the car. Um, we can manipulate the chassis however we want to. So you know, the sweet spot is anywhere from 245 to 250. We went to a 250 so we can have a little bit more room for the blower um, on the next go around. So. Yeah, and put the, the bell mouth on the end of the blower right, and exactly. all that kind of stuff. There's big gains there. So, well, I had a really good time on the diner today. Making 2,000 horsepower is never boring. No. So, hopefully, I'll hear back from you after you guys take it to the track That's and right. you can send me some data logs. We can look at them together. Perfect. And then we'll see you guys next time.